Svevdalinka is the traditional music of Bosnia. It is a combination of Oriental, European, and Sephardic elements. Svevdalinka songs originally expressed love for God and then later evolved into romantic songs that express longing and desire. Masjid Ali Pasha is located in Astoria, Queens, New York. Many of its congregants are recent refugees. Imam Byron Mulich delivers the Friday sermon in Arabic, Bosnian, and English. We are European Muslims. We are uh, people who, who are indigenous Europeans for 600 years. We are on the border between East and West. So Islam was brought to us by the Ottomans and Ottoman Turks. So uh, we have our European identity and our Islamic identity, which by itself creates a new culture. Uh, in 1992, uh, there was a war of aggression uh, by the Serbs and also Croats against my country. So our people were forced to migrate here. Some of them even came before the war during the communism because they couldn't practice their religion, they couldn't uh, establish their business. So they came to pursue their American dreams. So when they came here, uh, they attend uh, Arabic mosques and they don't understand Arabic. Most of them hardly understand English. And there are a little bit uh, different uh, traditions. So it was their desire to have a Bosnian mosque where they can satisfy their spiritual, cultural, and social needs. We are here a community center besides the prayers and regular uh, activities that any mosque an Islamic center would do. We educate our children. We have Saturday, Sunday school, uh, not only Islam, but we also educate our children, our history, our culture, and our language. In addition to that, uh, we serve as a funeral home, uh, as a funeral service. There are people that, that are connected to these mosques only when they die. Only uh, when they die, they want to be buried Muslim way. And that's all the identity they have. So, uh, it's very difficult to approach all of them, but our number is growing. There are more people coming to the mosque than leaving the mosque. Because they feel it's, it's like their home. They feel it's their safe heaven. They feel if they are here, they are secure. Somebody thinks about them. Uh, they like to socialize. They like to get together. They feel comfort when they speak their own language. They feel comfort when uh, somebody, some, someone sympathizes with them. History has witnessed four major waves of Bosniak immigration to the United States. The first began at the very end of the 19th century and lasted until World War II. Most of these early Bosniaks immigrating to America were impoverished, uneducated, and illiterate. Dozens of these pioneers were employed in digging Chicago's subway tunnels. They intended to only work in the U.S. for some years in order to save enough money to return home and start families in Bosnia. In July 1906, these immigrants established the Jamaat al Haidi, or Society of Goodwill, the very first Muslim organization in Illinois. The Jamaat al Haidi eased some of the difficulties of life in the U.S. by providing these early immigrants with health care. The Jamaat al Haidi purchased a burial section at the Skokie Cemetery in Chicago, providing proper Islamic burials for its members. This particular stone is for the bachelor section of the Jamiat al Hayriya. Uh, most of the stone, most of the measures in this uh, section are from the 1920s and 30s, even though you will see a few from the 60s and 70s. A lot of them uh, died during uh, the, when they were constructing buildings and the subways in Chicago when they had tunnel collapses. And one thing you would notice, they have some of the, some of them are separate. Like, like you notice, here's the main cemetery, but then there would be some off to the side. 
The ones that are off to the side are people that are married to non-Muslims. This, this uh, particular tombstone is the one for Imam Kamal Yusuf Avdich, the founder of the Bosnian Cultural Center and the ICC in Northbrook. He was born in Bosnia on April 10th, 1913 in uh, Belica. I, I would prefer if um, something that Imam uh, Chamo Avdich did would have continued. And one thing he did is he began to translate some of the traditional Bosnian songs and some of the traditional maulids and casitas and stuff to English and the children would recite them in English so they would hear them in Bosnian and Arabic and English and Turkish so they would not only hear them but they would know what they mean. The Zulkic family lives in Astoria, Queens, New York. Dr. Mersim Zulkic is a dentist. He holds his family practice on the lower level of their home and the family lives on the top floor. Dr. Zulkic first came to the United States from Montenegro in 1991 for a cousin's wedding. That's when he first saw Elvita, a second-generation Bosnian-American. The two were wed only months later in a very traditional Bosnian wedding. They have four daughters, Mersina, Miranda, Milva, and Elma. As a second-generation Bosnian-American, Elvita prepares some of her traditional Bosnian dishes in unconventional ways adding ingredients to her preference. Today, she's preparing matzanitsa. They used to make it with just the flour, water, because they probably didn't have milk that they could waste as quick. You know, maybe an egg if they had an egg. If not, it was just salt. So it was bland, very bland. But now I told you, I add the cream cheese, the mozzarella cheese, the feta cheese. I give it like a little more, uh, uh, it's just a richer taste. But it's an old-fashioned food, and like my husband said, it, back in the days, it was the poorer people made it, but the poorer people made it just bland. Now we're making it different, but it doesn't matter. It's still a food from our country. Whether the poor people ate it or the rich people ate it, it's still something that everybody eats. It, you buy it in our stores and what it does is it gives, a, it gives it like a flake and it's supposed to be like flat. It gives you like that flake where the, the, the dough rises just a little bit. on here already. I use cream cheese. I just like it. It gives it a nice taste to me. So I, since I put this on there, I just kind of mush it around a little bit because it's going to melt. It's going to melt into a cream. But you know, I help the process by pushing it around while it's hot. That's it. Then this we take, we put in the oven for another like 15 minutes just so it melts down. And once it's melted down, we let it cool just very little. And we can have this with a glass of milk or a glass of uh, yogurt. You know, it's for everybody's preference. The Zulkic daughters were all born in Astoria, Queens. They say that they always refer to themselves as being Bosnians. Their parents passed down Bosnian culture and values to them by enrolling them into traditional Bosnian dance classes and Islamic Sunday school at Masjid Ali Pasha with Imam Bayram. Mersina, Miranda, Melva, and Elma all speak Bosnian. Dentistry has been a first love for Dr. Zulkic since the age of seven. While in Montenegro, a cousin once visited him and asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Dr. Zulkic, impressed by his tall, handsome cousin, responded, what do you do? His cousin told him he was a dental technician. Dr. Zulkic saw his cousin as a role model. From that day on, Dr. Zulkic read about dentistry and developed a passion for this profession. The persecution of Bosnians in his homeland led to his immigration to the U.S. in 1991. He earned his doctorate in dentistry at NYU. As a dentist, he now serves a large population of Bosnian refugees. 
alleviating their dental pain, and relating to them in their own language. Astoria, Queens, New York is one of America's most diverse neighborhoods. The Zulkich neighbors are Christian, Jewish, and Buddhist, and of Chinese, Italian, and Russian origin. They discuss a range of issues, watch over one another's homes, babysit each other's children, and on a beautiful summer day, they sit in the Zulkich family's garden to share a coffee or a traditional Bosnian meal. There is, uh, uh, there is no uh, village from the world that there is no uh, at least one person in this uh, quiz. I know so many people being a dentist, I, I get in touch with uh, uh, not only my community, but all different uh, uh, nationalities, uh, religions, and that, that makes me really more richer as a uh, human, as a, as a man, as a person who, who came into this country with the idea of uh, um, with the opportunities, country of, of opportunities. So I'm happy that my kids are living in, in that uh, mosaic of different uh, races, culture, skin color. My neighbor, especially uh, these couple of families around my house, it can be a role model for America. Anyway, the, the Bible, the, uh, my Bible, uh, the Quran, it's uh, not too much different, I mean, uh, very close. The same, any kind of religion, it's close with the one to another one, you know. It's, uh, once you eat with somebody and you share with them, then how can you not feel brotherhood with them? Alan just mentioned, just mentioned something. What I learned when I was a kid, my, my parents uh, always told me, once you eat bread and salt with somebody, there's special relationship. You cannot break that because you share the, the, the most valuable thing which preserves you alive. And uh, it's a God's gift. Once you serve somebody and somebody serves you in, in our religion, even if uh, the, the problem becomes between you, in, in a, for the sake of God, you remember that you share the food. It's a special uh, obligation and you forgive. Bego and his wife Melvita are Bosnian refugees. During the War of Aggression, their town Vierna was the first attacked. Bego was put in a concentration camp for 27 months and escaped in 1995. He and his wife now live in Manchester, New Hampshire. Like Mr. Bego, over 200,000 Bosnians sought refuge in the U.S. after 1995 due to the war and are dispersed in small and large towns throughout the U.S. Before I came over here, we have nice life. It was a beautiful life in, uh, for uh, 50, 55 years. And uh, nobody say what religion you guys, what religion uh, another. We have, we, we have nice, beautiful night, life. So uh, when they start fight, that everybody call, <laughs> I am Muslim, I'm Serbs, I'm Croatian, you know what I mean? So that's the war, we have to stop any Muslim people who had business must stop business. They took everything of us. They took tools, they took material, they took buildings, they took furniture, they took everything. That's we stop uh, working. Uh, I don't work uh, for war time, about two or three years. And uh, when I come over here, I, I just uh, looking for tools and I, uh, buy some some day to this one so I make order from the Germany I have a lot of friends in the Germany they send me over here and that's I start over here this is my hobby so I have a regular job you know what I mean but this is everything my hobby this is the tools when I use to do the, my uh, copper work this is the band machine and I uh, bring from the Germany and also this molding machine, this small machine molding to work handily is the molding machine when I did curves and, uh, and uh, joint. And uh, this is the envelope uh, when I do with hammer. Uh, and this is the 
soldering machine, soldering uh, uh, with iron, and uh, special uh, special uh, soldering for the for the put together two pieces. I'm very happy when I when I do something and show people. This the one piece of my life, and I can be free of this. When I sleep, I think of this. When I I dream this job, I always is follow me, and I always make something different, something new. And I saw a nice a nice lamp, and I go come home and, and create a new new lamp, and I did tomorrow. And I never uh, uh, never have take measure of nothing. I just go. This song is the, my favorite of the, the song. Is the next to Shadrawan. This uh, uh, talking about uh, two loves. Uh, woman who was rich and uh, uh, man who was poor. Krajta na naše drvana, gdje žubori voda živa, šetala se svakog dana, sultanova. Boston's Bosnian Refugee Center was established in 1995 to help new Bosnian refugees adjust to life in the U.S. Asma Chino is a caseworker at the Refugee Center. She helped form a folkloric group there this year in order to preserve the Bosnian culture and bring people together. The people are far away from home and then uh, all individual family try in the, how, in the home uh, to keep it the tradition and the culture, but it's hard because of the school and the neighborhood and the language is English and the, and the neighbors all Americans or the Spanish. So there, there's a no street or the, the people live together so they can uh, visit. And there was a need for people for the, uh, to, to gather together for when we have the holidays like Eid. They will come, the singers from the Bosnia, and then we'll gather together twice a year. And then it's, uh, uh, that was a great, but not enough. So the Bosnia Community Center came to idea that we can bring the people together. Oh, 
But here now with the dancing group, that's excellent. I mean, you can feel the spirit. The people are so happy, they relax, they enjoying every moment of that. Doesn't matter, it's not only for the performance in the front of the TV or in front of the, the audience. It's just the being together and listen to music and dancing. You can see that they dancing from the heart and really, really enjoying. And the so small kids who didn't know, who are here the few years and they came as a two, three year old kids, they don't know much about the culture, only seeing from the pictures or talking to the relatives, uh, sometimes over the phone or the people, parents telling them because there wasn't place to show them the, how that looked like. Now you saw it, the kids, when they're coming, they want to learn and they want that. now they're asking the question, they're enjoying about the, seeing the clothes, they don't understand, they even don't know how to put the clothes on because it's the kind. And then, but everybody loves it. I would like uh, that the people get the community stay together and then every day they bring in the people who are around who I don't know for us or the people who are kind of a uh, little bit isolated. They coming to us and we're building a really strong community who will keep it and then all our tradition and the culture and raise our children in that and then, then they know who they are, where they belong to. I ručice majko tvoje, koje su me otranile. Thank you very much. <laughs> originally expressed love for God, and then later evolved into romantic songs that express longing and desire. <laughs> Masjid Ali Pasha is located in Astoria, Queens, New York. Many of its congregants are recent refugees. Imam Byron Mulich 
delivers the Friday sermon in Arabic, Bosnian, and English. We are European Muslims. We are uh, people who, who are indigenous Europeans for 600 years. We are on the border between East and West. So Islam was brought to us by the Ottomans and Ottoman Turks. So uh, we have our European identity and our Islamic identity. They feel if they are here, they are secure. Somebody thinks about them. Uh, they like to socialize. They like to get together. They feel comfort when they speak their own language. They feel comfort when uh, somebody, some, someone sympathizes with them. History has witnessed four major waves of Bosniak immigration to the United States. The first began at the very end of the 19th century and lasted until World War II. Most of these early Bosniaks immigrating to America were impoverished, uneducated, and illiterate. Dozens of these pioneers were employed in digging Chicago's subway tunnels. They intended to only work in the U.S. for some years in order to save enough money to return home and start families in Bosnia. In July 1906, these immigrants established the Jamaat al Haidi, or Society of Goodwill, the very first Muslim organization in Illinois. Sevdalinka is the traditional music of Bosnia. It is a combination of Oriental, European, and Sephardic elements. Sevdalinka songs... A community center, besides the prayers and regular uh, activities that any mosque and Islamic center would do, we educate our children. We have Saturday, Sunday school. Uh, not only Islam, but we also educate our children, our history, our culture, and our language. In addition to that, uh, we serve as a funeral home, uh, as a funeral service. There are people that, that are connected to these mosques only when they die. Only uh, when they die, they want to be buried Muslim way. And that's all identity they have. So uh, it's very difficult to approach all of them. But our number is growing. There are more people coming to the mosque than leaving the mosque. Because they feel it's, it's like their home. They feel it's their safe heaven identity, which by itself creates a new culture. Uh, in 1992, uh, there was a war of aggression uh, by the Serbs and also Croats against my country. So our people were forced to migrate here. Some of them even came before the war during the communism because they couldn't practice their religion, they couldn't uh, establish their business. So they came to pursue their American dreams. So when they came here, uh, they attend uh, Arabic mosques and they don't understand Arabic. Most of them hardly understand English. And there are a little bit uh, different uh, traditions. So it was their desire to have a Bosnian mosque where they can satisfy their spiritual, cultural, and social needs. We are here 